All right. Tensions among House Republicans spilled over yesterday when former Speaker Kevin McCarthy allegedly elbowed one of his colleagues who voted to remove him from his position last Can't do month. That. And yeah, five years old. While being interviewed after a conference meeting, Tennessee Republican Tim Burchett says he was hit from behind by McCarthy. Oh, come on. Burchett uh, initially apologized, thinking he had been in the wrong, but then chased McCarthy down the hall to confront him. NBR congressional correspondent Claudia Grisales uh, captured audio of the altercation. Take a listen. I think it went all right. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin, didn't mean to elbow. Why'd you elbow me in the back, Kevin? Hey, Kevin, you got any guts? Jerk. Has he done that before? No. Huh. That's I'm going to go talk to him. Hey, Kevin, why'd you elbow me in the back? Back. You got no you guts. You did so. They sat there and the reporter said it right there. What kind of chicken move is that? You're you're pathetic, man. You are so pathetic. And NPR is Claudia Grisales joins us now. That happened right in front of you. Um, and they knew that you were in the middle of an interview. Uh, so I mean, it's kind of like, rolling. it's kind of like, uh, like work in the middle school cafeteria, Wait. except these are the people that lead our country. Uh, t tell us about it. Yeah, it was very stunning. It, this is a tradition Tuesday mornings when Republicans meet in a nearby conference room in the basement area. And we often talk with members as they pull off to the side of this hallway. Burchett had done the same. He had come to the side to talk to me. And as you heard there, he, he said one sentence to me before he was shoved. He lurched into me. We were about two feet apart. He probably lurched about a foot in front of me. And so it was just a very shocking moment. I look over, I see it's McCarthy and his detail. They are not stopping at all during that entire confrontation. McCarthy's looking back to respond to wow. Burchett and deny it, even chuckling at one point when Burchett is saying, you're a pathetic man. Um, but it was just stunning uh, what happened. I kept repeating over and over to him and others, I cannot believe I just saw that. So Claudia, from your view, it was a little shot from the former speaker to Burchett? He was shoved and because he lurched into me. And also, it, it was clear to me, I thought initially it was a joke, but then a few seconds passed before I realized this was not a joke at all. Well, as you said, McCarthy later on even denied giving what Burchett described mm. as a shot to the kidneys. The Tennessee Republican, though, not backing down from his version of events. I did not run and hit the guy. I did not kidney punch him. I did not shoot anything like that. You didn't shove him. No, I did not go up. If I hit, if I would hit somebody, they would know I hit. Come on, I'll take a, I'll take a polygraph test and have Kevin take a polygraph test. What did you, you say to him right now? Are you hurting? Oh, I'm okay, ma'am. Look, I'm, you know, it's no big deal. It's just, it's just a little different the way people react in Tennessee than they do in California. In Tennessee, if you got a problem with somebody, you take it to them face to face. I guess. Southern California, where he's from, you, you take a cheap shot at somebody from behind. You have $17 million in a security detail, and you'll still be a bully. Wow, just taking a broad shot at Southern California Jeez. there. This is not the first time McCarthy has been accused of hitting a fellow Republican. Former Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger says McCarthy did the same thing to him wow. on a couple of separate occasions. Um, John Bresnahan, I wish we had it in front of us. I don't have it, but you had a great tweet yesterday. You've been covering Capitol Hill for a long time. I think you said this is one of, if not the dumbest days you've ever witnessed. I thought Congress can't get dumber, you wrote, and then today happened. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, if you take this incident. Uh, yeah. uh, Sorry, Brez, we're just reading your next tweet, which is, yeah, please, oh God, make God. the stupid I mean, stop. You know, I, mean, it was, I mean, we had this, we had the mark. Wayne, Senator Mark Wayne Mullen challenging, you know, a witness to a fight ahead of the Teamsters. Um, we, we, you know, we had uh, Jim Comer, chairman of the Oversight Committee, calling uh, Jared Moskowitz, the congressman, a Democrat from California, calling him a, a, a liar and a smurf. I mean, we just, yesterday oh was God. just, you know, yeah, yesterday was just a hurricane of stupid. I mean, it was um, like, you know, look, I think part of it is that the House has been in session for 10 straight weeks. Joe knows this. Members, they no. get restless. They don't like being around each other that, that much. No, 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 no. 
No, no excuse. Yeah, I just that, there's no, not an excuse for not physical that, violence. No, I mean, yeah. come on. I mean, <laughs> My no, Lord. I'm, not kidding, and I'm just saying that weird things happen. But I also think, yeah. look, I, I think there's I think there's a broad a couple broader issues here. First, it's a coarsening of American politics. There's no question about right. it. In the Donald Trump era, you have Trump going out saying what he's done and everything. And then like right. we can't take this, we can't take this, we can't just dismiss this in the in post January sixth. Look, you have Paul right. Pelosi's his attacker is on trial right now. This is this is, you know, when people do these stupid incidents you all know it. That goes blown up on social media, and and then when the public sees it, they take it as reality, and that this is okay. The right. political violence is okay, and this is what happens when we get, you know, members are shot at at, at, at malls. People, you know, poor Steve Scalise. I mean, stuff that you can't you you can't just start like this at a little thing and expect it not to blow up into a big thing out in the public. Well, and and you had Donald Very Trump well a couple put. of days ago mocking. Paul Pelosi, a guy in his 80s who almost got beaten to death, and, and Donald Trump's making jokes about it. Uh, we talked a couple of days ago about you had a Republican member of Congress beat up a reporter, beat up a reporter a few years ago for asking a question about health care reform. And what did Donald Trump do? He praised him for beating up a reporter. So, of course, this follows, and you see it in the House. Just thank God. Thank God we have the House of Lords. We have the upper chamber yeah. where yeah. people... Yeah, and you no. know what? It's like, it's, it's, it is the most exclusive club in the world, and this doesn't happen in the Senate. I hate to break your heart, but... What?